This is a Boogaboo Donkey 3, and today we're going to show you how to fold this model down, both for a quick uh, one-piece standing fold, as well as to get it as small as possible, uh, in case you're packing for a longer journey and space is a bit of an issue. Alright, starting then with covering the one-piece fold options, uh, you're going to want to do two things before you do any of these folds. So you're going to want to lock these front wheels with the wheels facing outwards. Just push down on the two levers there, and then twist your stroller until those wheels find their locking place. And then you're going to want to apply the brake. So then in order to achieve the one-piece standing fold with the seat in the reverse position, you're going to fold back your canopy, and you're going to grab that adjustment lever and pull your seat all the way back until the feet are facing skywards. Then you can lower down your handle, clip it in place, and then pull up on the levers here. So there's a little safety, black safety button there on both sides. Press in, pull it down, drop the handle, and you can pull it up by the central bar, and you just want to give that front frame a push. And there you go. In order to unfold it then, you're going to need to press in on the safeties, pull up on those triggers again, and then you're going to flip back up into place, pull up on your handle, and readjust the seat. Now this can be done both in the mono version as well as the twin version. Um, of course, how useful that is to you is going to depend a bit on trunk space or hallway space if you're just storing it at home. This one-piece standing fold can also be accomplished with the seat facing forwards. Pull back your canopy. And then you're going to want to find this position, yeah? The seat, it's one of the recline positions. Pull down your handle, pull up on those triggers, drop the handle, and again, give a little press in on the front frame, and you have your self-standing fold. In order to put it back up, again, you're going to pull up on those triggers, and the whole thing sort of and as with the seat, you can get the uh, one-piece self-standing fold with the bassinet. Just push back the canopy. And you're going to want to use that adjustment trigger to pop it down to that uh, angle where the head is angled downwards. And we can lower our handle to some extent. And then pull up on those triggers again and push in the front frame. It's large, especially if you have two bassinets, but uh, it is useful. And if you have a large SUV or something, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? All right, in order to fold this back up, you're just going to pull in on those triggers again and pop the chassis back to the upright position, and then just use that adjustment trigger to pull the bassinet up flat again. All right then, so if you want to make the bassinet as flat as possible, if you're conserving space, then what you're going to need to do is to pull out those plastic struts that hold the bassinet upright. So you have one at the foot end, pull that out. reaffix your Velcro afterwards. And then on the back end, you have two. Just have to detach the canopy. So you have one on either side here. One. And two. Reattach your velcro afterwards. Reattach your canopy. Then you can pull off the bumper bar. Pull down your canopy. And now, because you've removed those struts, it's possible to kind of flatten the bag a bit. The feet still stick out of it, but you do get it a bit flatter than it would be otherwise. 
All right, so then if you're packing the donkey down as small as possible because space is an issue, um, then what you're going to need to do is to remove all of the elements. So in order to remove the seat frame, you have these memory buttons, one on the other side, press them in. They don't have to be done simultaneously. And that allows you to pull off the seat. As far as the side basket, assuming you have the mono version goes, you're just going to pull up on either side and it will come off just like this. Then when it comes to the chassis, you're going to want to, again, we're talking about the mono version. In a moment, we're going to show you how to extend and contract the chassis horizontally. But uh, if, assuming you already have it in the smallest horizontal position, you're going to want to fold it down and you're going to want to remove the wheels. So I'm going to remove the wheels first. For the rear wheels, the button for removing them is right here. This white button, press in, you can pull off the wheels. And then for the front wheels, the button for removing them is this white button on the back. With the wheels remove them, you can again just fold the chassis as we did previously. So you're just going to pull up on these triggers and you'll notice that the whole thing folds in quite a lot tighter. You can also just fold in this chopping basket if you like. In order to get the seat frame as small as possible, it's really just a matter of folding back your canopy and then taking off that bumper bar, these buttons on the inside, and then you're just going to fold this foot forwards. And that's about as flat as you can get it. So then when we're talking about getting the donkey as small as possible, you have your chassis without the wheels, you have the wheels themselves, and you have, of course, one or two seat units. And this isn't just relevant for uh, packing for a trip, but if you want to use a donkey and you don't have the largest SUV, then you're going to you can get it pretty small anyway. It's just a matter of how much time you're willing to use uh, in order to collapse everything and take everything off and so on. And uh, you just gotta find the solution that is the most convenient for you with whatever sort of space you have available. Okay, the horizontal extension then uh, and contraction of the stroller. Now we're gonna show that now. And in order to do that, we're going to remove both the seat and the basket from the mono version, just so it's easier to see all the mechanisms. So. Popping off the seat and the basket. And there are four points here that are important. There are three clips, one on the front frame, one on the lower rear frame, and one on the handle. And then there is the button that actually does the extending, and that's located right here. So right now this is in the mono version. In order to open it outwards, pop those off. And then while pressing in this button, you can pull the stroller out. And what this is doing is increasing that side where the side basket was, the space here between these two struts such that you can fit uh, the seat frame, of course. Then on each of these bars, you want to pull it out to make sure it's fully extended and then pop that clip in place. Pulling out the handle, popping the clip, pulling out this one and popping the clip. It won't just by its own nature, be at the correct extension necessarily. So you do want to pull those and then pop the clip. Now you have the stroller in the wider twin version. And then in order to uh, shrink it horizontally again, to contract it, you're just going to reverse the process. So open up all of your clips. Press in that button, pull in the side. Make sure that all of these are tight in. Making sure it's tight in. As a side note, when you're using the donkey, it's quite important that these clips are clipped. I uh, see out on the streets very often people using their donkeys and especially this back frame clip has popped open and they're just wheeling it around anyway. What that can do is put pressure on uh, some of the various connection points of the stroller, so it's not a good idea. In any case, this was our guide to folding and unfolding the Donkey 3. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future.
Thank you.